Good afternoon, my fellow scientists. It is Monday, November 6, 2017, and I want to talk about a new form of lithium-ion battery that uses a water-based electrolyte. Typically, any battery that uses lithium as its main active material can't use water at all because lithium and water react quite violently. But in this case, they were able to accomplish this feat by using a extremely hydrophobic polymer between the water layer and the graphite layer or the lithium layer. So essentially by using something like Teflon to sit between any water in any place where lithium might be reactive, they were able to make a battery out of lithium but still have cheap, non-toxic, and non-flammable water as the main electrolyte ingredient, as opposed to gels and, uh, say, carbon-based compounds in between the anode and cathode that could actually be flammable. So let's talk about how that works. So if you remember back to your early days of chemistry, the way batteries work is you have to have some anode that's going to dissolve to a positive oxidized state. You could have a salt bridge to allow for charge transfer. You're going to generate a voltage as some other thing is reduced and plates out on the far side. So if you have anode chemistry A and cathode chemistry B and some separator C, you have a battery. In a lithium ion battery, the way that is set up is you have graphite carbon with lithium plus in it. So essentially the graphite is negatively charged. The graphite loses its electron. The lithium plus dissolves. You have some gel whoop, you have some gel membrane that sits between all of that. And then on the other side you have something like iron phosphate where lithium would really like to get in order to reabsorb that electron, generate a voltage, and immobilize itself. And you can move the lithium back and forth to charge and discharge. The problem here is that this membrane is usually designed to be really unreactive so that it won't react with these lithium ions. Water is far too reactive. Lithium react with water to form lithium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. And that's bad. So to avoid that, how do you keep lithium from touching water if you have water in the electrolyte here conducting that lithium? And the answer that this clever group came up with was to put a layer of Teflon-like fluoropolymer CF2N here between the place where the lithium is most reactive and the place where the lithium is being deposited. And as soon as you put water or gel on this, you can release the lithium from that side by using a voltage. But essentially, you charge the battery and this becomes permeable to lithium without ever causing degradation and reaction. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description to the original paper as well as to a pop press article covering it. So if you like that kind of thing, think about liking, think about subscribing, think about hitting the link in the description below to help support some of our own battery development activities. I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, subscribed, and donated to the support of our battery development. We've met our goal of $5,000. We can support an undergraduate this summer. We can buy all the materials we need to try all kinds of chemistry. So thank you all very, very much for your kind support and participation. Love your comments. Love your emails. Keep them coming, and we will see you tomorrow.